Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to the Harker Iron Man series in Old School RuneScape. Starting off the week with a hunt fuck off no. <laughs> I am skipping that. No, thank you. Block. How much how many points have I got? Uh, I'll just cancel it. I haven't got enough points to block. I do, but I don't want to waste them. 148 blood velds. Uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. So it turns out the uh, blood velds in the uh, catacombs of Karen are actually level 123, and they're the mutated ones. It does mean their drops are better. Um, but it does mean that I piss through food to uh, sort of not die against them. So I've killed like four, and I'm already like out of inventory, out of food, <laughs> like in this inventory. So I think I might try and go and do. I'm going to have a look about, see if we can safe spot them. And I might go and do the Lost Tribe quest to get the uh, Bone Crossbow. Um, also means we can get some range XP. Also, I probably, I don't know, if I kill this one, let's give it a big bada boom. Lovely hit, 5. 17, very nice. Come on, kill it, kill it. Kill it! Kill it! I was meant to get a defence. <laughs> I was meant to get a defence level. Anyway, I'm going to go and refill on uh, food. Hey, and there's 61 defence coming in. Um, I am going to try a uh, safe spot, and apparently you can safe spot on this corner here. Uh, but I just wanted to get the defence level. Um, I've only got steel knives as well, which are pretty shit. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. There are 68 uh, hit points coming in. Very nice. Um... That means that one more attack or strength level and we'll be 82. Um, not that we're using that at the moment, but <laughs> still at the blood bells, obviously. Um, only a few kills in, but uh, opting for range and the safe spotting option. So still getting hit a little bit to get it in the right spot, but means the f it means the food, uh, the food... Uh, Rations aren't going down fucking quick. <laughs> oh, oh well. He's actually dropping some decent things though. And there is 49 range coming in. One more and we can start wearing blue dragon hide. Um, it probably means that I need to get up my crafting so I can actually make it. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what drops it or if you can buy it anywhere. I need to look into that but... Yeah, pretty cool. Right, so I think um, it's come to the point where if we want to progress range a bit more... Uh, I need to get the bone crossbow, so I'm going to quickly do the Lost Tribe quest. Um, I'm then going to do Ernest the Chicken, because that's the, a required quest for animal magnetism, which means we can get Ava's, um, Ava's accumulator, which does mean that we need 50 range, but once we get the bone crossbow, I can quickly get that. So the plan is bone crossbow, Ernest the Chicken, animal magnetism. Get those three out of the way. I'm not going to do quest guides on them because I want to get them done quickly. Uh, so we can get back to Slayer. Because this week, I haven't got as much time to play. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, and this should be the end of the quest once they've done all their bowels. And I spam through it. Hey, and there we go. One quest point, 3,000 mine XP, a ring of life. And we can also ac access the Dorkishan Mines. So that is the Lost Tribe quest completed. Very nice. 58 quest points now, which yeah, could be better, but hey-ho. We're finally doing some quests, lads. Um, some of you might say, oh, why don't you go and do Death to Dorgasham? But uh, the only thing you get from that is the um, special attack on the uh, Dorgasham crossbow, which I'm never really going to use. You don't you never really hit with it either. So um, I'm not going to bother with that. Gonna go and get myself a crossbow, and then I'm gonna get 50, um, 50 range, and I'll probably get 56 layer. well, I will get 56 layer as well, um, because I'm gonna go and do, uh, the, uh, blood th what was it, I can't, what the fuck is their name, I can never remember their names, um, oh, uh, blood veld, sorry, the mutated blood velds, um, Gonna go back to my task just get just to get the fifty uh, range, and then I'm gonna do um, Ernest the Chicken and Animal Magnetism because I don't think I've done Ernest the Chicken. Unless I surprise me, no, I haven't <laughs> surprised myself with actually doing a quest. Here we go, buy one crossbow, very nice. 
I'm just going to buy a shit ton, an absolute shit ton of these. Just so I don't have to come back here for ages. Right, I think 6,800 will do for now. <laughs> Gonna go and do my Slayer task. So apparently you can trade in the uh, brooch that you get from that quest. And you get a mining helmet. I don't know what you can do with it, but that's pretty cool. Little bit of fashionscape, lads. Little bit of fashionscape. Oh shit, if you use your uh, tinderbox on it. If I extinguish it. If I use my tinderbox on it. It becomes a light source. That's really cool. Hey, and there is 56 Slayer coming in. Very nice. We've also got seven blood runes. Cool. Steady on the sun. And there is 50 range coming in, which means that we can use, now start wearing blue dragon hide and also use magic bows, which is pretty big upgrade once we got the fletching level. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish off this kill and then I'm going to go and do Ernest the Chicken and Animal Magnetism because now I can actually use Ava's Accumulator which uh, means that I don't need to keep picking up all my bolts and all my arrows and all my knives and all that stuff. So that saves me a few clicks, mate. Um, <laughs> currently on about twenty to 21,000 XP an hour uh, range, that is. Which, yeah, it's not bad. It's just not terrible. Um, especially with uh, this setup. Um, but yeah, it's telling me that I need 16 more kills for level 51. Fair enough. <laughs> so I'm killing uh, goblins because I forgot to bring coins to get to Alcarid. And we just got an easy clue scroll. So uh, I think I'm going to do that while I'm in between picking up all the stuff that I need for uh, Animal Magnetism and uh, Ernest the Chicken. Right, turns out my first step was actually in Dronor Manor at the uh, <laughs> Leprechaun. So I've done that. And now I'm going to start... Um, Ernest the Chicken, and quickly get that done. And there we go, Ernest the Chicken done. Four quest- I didn't realise it was four quest points, bloody hell. Four quest points and 300 coins, not bad. Right, I'm going to go and quickly do, um... Actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and start at, um, Animal Magnetism. And uh, I think that means that I need to go somewhere else, I think maybe Varrock. Um, so before I go there, I'll do the next step of my clue as well. Oh wow, that was a really quick clue. Um, yeah, Ava was saying something about she wasn't- I couldn't start the quest yet. Whatever. Thought I'd go and do the uh, the uh, clue scroll. We've got the casket. Please be something decent. Oh, we literally just got that last episode. <laughs> Come on, man. We're already getting doubles. Uh, but we got some white fire lighters. That's not too bad. That's our third amulet of magic. I guess two uniques. You can't really complain. And it's worth 72k. It's just. I guess it's just pushing up the bank value. Right, here we go. Starting old uh, animal magnetism. Uh, oh shit, wrong one. Anyway, I'm going to get this finished and uh, I'll see you when we're on the completion screen, I guess. And there we go. Animal Magnetism completed. 1000 XP in Craft, Inflection and Slayer. Also 2500 Warkite and XP. One quest point and Ava's device. We're up to th 63 quest points now as well. So if I trade with her, I should be able to buy. Shit, talk to her. Oh, no shit. I didn't see the option there for devices. Um, I currently have the Accumulator. Uh, and I want that. I've just, bought the same <laughs> I've just bought the same thing. But anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, sweet. We've got the accumulator. We can wear it now as well. Right, so I just wanted to do a bit of a agility pyramid just to get some coins. And there is... That's our tenth one. So now we've got a nice clean 100k. Um, Bank was looking a little bit sad, so... I thought I'd top it up a little bit. Hey, and there is 61 agility coming in. Very nice. We can now do the Slayer Tower Medium Spike Chain Climb Agility Shortcut. Whatever that is. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty much out of water skins, so I'm going to go back to the mainland. Or back to civilization, I should say. Trade this in for a 10k. What a cash. 170k is not too bad. Not too bad. Thought it'd be a good idea to stop working on crafting, so I'm currently buying soda ash and buckets of sand from the uh, traders over on Port uh, Sarim, and then I'm running round to the... Uh, I can't remember the bloody names. The Squires, and travelling to the pest control and to use the bank. It's actually quicker than uh, running all the way round to um, Draenor. So, going to do this for a little bit. Plan is to put a nice dent... Part of me in this 50k that I've got out. Um, and I want to do some pest control, I think, this week as well. 
get the old uh, combat stats up. So I bought about uh, 300 buckets of sand and uh, soda ash. And uh, I thought I'd start blowing them into molten or cooking them, smelting them. I don't know. Heating them up, there we go, into molten glass. And there's 51 crafting coming in. Um, we can now make snakeskin chaps. Very nice. And there's 52 crafting coming in. I'm currently blowing that molten glass into lantern lenses because that's the highest thing I can make from it. Um, what can we make now? Oh, we can make the serpentine helms. So uh, if we ever get that, we can make it. Decent. Is this going to be the first death on the account? We have 2 HP. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> FYI, for people who don't know, pest control is a safe place to die. Um, because it's a minigame. Um, yeah, I'm about 10 games in the moment. We've got 30 points, so. We're making moves, guys. We're making moves. <clears throat> so, I was doing the novice boat, but it turns out we can do the intermediate because it's 70 combat. I thought it was 85. But, uh, yeah, some more points per hour now. We're on about... I think we're on about 50 odd now. So, uh, I think first thing I'm going to get is the um, Mage Hood because we haven't really got any Mage or Magic, I should say, uh, gear. So, it'll be a bit of an upgrade. And there's our first death on the Hardcore Iron Man. But it's all good. It's all good. We're back in the game, boys. And that status is here to stay. <laughs> right, so we've just got over 150 tokens, which means we can now buy the gloves. I know I said I, I was going to save up for the magic helm, but it doesn't actually have much bonus compared to, say, the mystic helm or mystic hat. Um, and we're more like, It's probably easier for us to get that from a drop and not waste 200 points on that. Um, and instead, I'm going to start working towards the range uh, setup. So I'm going to get the gloves because they're better They're better than the uh, gloves we have at the moment, which is the Slayer gloves, which is our current best in slot. So I'm going to buy them. Um, cool. Um, next, I'm going to go for the top, then the road bottoms, and then go for the uh, Ranger Helm. Um, probably do that over a few episodes, though, because uh, it takes a bit of time. Right, so how does that increase? There we go, look. Whoa. Upgrade boys. Hey, and there is 70 woodcutting coming in. Um, we can now cut... Oh, nothing. You think 70 would be a nice milestone for something. But anyway, I'm over by Port Phasmatis. Um, there's three yew trees here. Um, so if you ever need to cut some yews, it's decent because you don't have to stand around like a lemon waiting for one to grow. Um, but yeah, we were pretty close to level 70, so I thought I'd get that. And we're also mm, relatively close to... Uh, 69 uh, Fletching as well, which at 69 we can start making room bolts, which means I can use those bolt tips that I got last episode as a drop. So, uh, got some sweet XP waiting in the bank. And there is 44 prayer coming in. Um, we've got loads of dragon bones left over from um, the blue dragon slayer task. So, I thought, eh, why not bring them over to the Ectofunctus and uh, reap the rewards? Uh, but yeah, 44 prayer. I don't know if that gives us not. Oh, it does. It gives us Eagle Eye, which increases range by 15%. Fwaa! Fwaa! Very nice. This really is an OP way to train your bloody, uh, prayer. Because look, there's 45. <laughs> Literally only like a few bones later. Mad. Absolute madness. And with that, we unlocked, um, Mystic Might, which increases your magical attack by and defense by 15%. Uh, we're only a few levels off the Redemption, which uh, heals you quicker, which is good for Winter Todd. Hey, and there is 67 attack coming in. We're now up to 82 combat as well. Back over at Pest Control. Uh, we're going for the top at the moment. That'll be a nice little upgrade once we get the full set. Right, so I just got my 30th um, Golden Nugget, and I'm actually going to buy the um, Prospector Boots. Just because, you know, mining's pretty slow. And, uh... The boots for Graceful don't give as much of a um, weight reduction as the trousers or the other parts, I guess. Um, yeah. And also I fancy just getting a bit more, <laughs> a few more items, you know. Mixing it up a bit. But yeah, very nice. We've now got the prospect Prospector boots. And there is 60 mining coming in, which means we can now go into the Mining Guild, which means we've got a better place to, um, to uh, mine iron. 
Uh, and also, we can start the grind for the um, the, uh, the gloves that go with the Prospector uh, set. Um, but yeah, 60 mining. That 59 was annoying me. So I thought, yeah, fuck it. Let's grind it out. Boys! Right, quick bit of fishing. Then I'm going to go back to doing my uh, Bloodveld Slayer task. Um, it's nice to see sort of these numbers slowly rounding up. Now, 60, that will soon be 50. 70, that will soon be 72. Oh, 70 as well. It's looking good, man. It's like I really want to get a base, I don't know, base 40 or 50. Um, it's just runecrafting and herblore that are really slowing it down. Uh, because I'm lazy and I don't do my farm runs. <laughs> hey, and there is 51 range coming in. Very nice. This dog's and crossbow's sick. Like, the fact that we've now upgraded to having the uh, accumulator and uh, that crossbow. We've just got so much ammo. <laughs> Because it's so cheap, and we don't need to keep fucking around picking it all up again once we've uh, um, killed one of these. So, uh, I'm loving that I finally uh, <laughs> got off my arse and did the uh, <laughs> the the right uh, or the the uh, the quests needed to actually have a decent range set up for uh, training it. So, very nice. Also, this safe spot here is fucking OP. <laughs> Some of them try and drag you out the safe spot, but if you get if you um attack one that spawns just on sort of this line here they all just sit there and wait to die it's brilliant hey these range levels come around really really quick these guys are decent xp for uh anything really they've got 170 uh hit points so it's not too shabby alonzo hey and there's 53 range coming in i decided to swap my attack style to the long range to actually get defense uh xp as well uh, because i kind of want to get my defense up that 60 is uh, looking a little bit weak, and I'm kind of thinking that I want to start doing some bandos. Not bandos. Yeah, not bandos, barrows. Um, <laughs> I know I need to do a couple of quests for that, and I think that's going to be the goal for next week's episode. Um, but we need 70 defense to start wearing their armor. So, good goal to go for. Oh, we just hit the uh, Konar drop table. 61 dragon dart tips. Very nice. They're worth 197k! Fucking hell! Oh, we got a Mithrax as well. Nice. <laughs> I'm more excited about the Mithrax, to be honest. <laughs> oh, damn, we just got another Ancient Shard. I think that's my third one on the account now. Don't know what it's for, but I've got one. <laughs> Holy shit, we just hit the drop table again. Dragon Spear. Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, man, that's dope. That is dope. Holy shit! So it's not a um, Konar drop table, it's the rare drop table, and it's 1 in 5,461. That's insane. Holy shit. Oi, oi, there's 54 range coming in. Very nice. Um, six more than we can start wearing uh, red dragon hide. Um, and that, I think that's easier to come by through drops than blue dehyde. So, uh... That'll be nice, wouldn't it? Just got to get the drops. <laughs> Holy shit. 35 uncut diamonds. We hit the Kona. Kona drop table again. Very nice. Um, but yeah, 57 Slayer. Uh, we've got 19 left of this task. Um, and that should give us 62 defense and 55 range. Going by the XP trackers I've got on. So uh, very nice. And that is that Slayer task done. I've still got a few left on my... Uh, Kill counts to get 55 uh, range and uh, 62 defense, but I think I'm going to quickly get those kills. There's only nine that I need, and then I'm going to go and get ourselves another task. But that was a, that was quite a fun task, that. We got some decent drops. Like I've got another rune med helm, so that's always fun. And those 35 uncut diamonds, and especially that dragon spear, mental. And there's 62 defense coming in. About a thousand more XP until... Uh, 55 range as well. Gonna switch over to just range now. Don't need any more defense XP. Right, there's 55 range. I'm now gonna kill off, kill this one, and then go back to Kona and get ourselves another task. Okay, for our next task, we're gonna get 155 two roths to roths in the Fremnix Slayer dungeon. Oh wow, we just hit the uh, <laughs> Kona drop table again. 65k. Holy what? 140k. 
Hold on, hold on. That just came up 65k. Fucking hell, that's just... <laughs> that's mad. Yo, we just hit the cone our drop table again. 135 magic logs. Jesus. 150k that's worth. Very nice, very nice indeed. Like three kills later we hit it again. 490 coal, that's mad. Hey, and those uncut diamonds we got earlier, that actually gave us 53 uh, crafting. Not too shabby, what can we make now? Snakeskin body armor. Nice. Hey, and there is 69 hit points coming in. Very nice. Hey, there's our runecraft and XP for the week. Thank you, Mr. Genie. Let me just kill this thing. There we go. Rub the lamp. Runecraft in. Very nice. And that should be 20. Hey, 20 runecraft in. Very nice. I also completely missed that we finished the task. So, uh, <laughs> I think this is the last one we're going to fit in this week. But I'm going to go to Conan and get ourselves, uh, one for the start of next one. Okay, so the first Slayer task of next week will be... It's not going to be Hellhounds. <laughs> I'm skipping that. Okay, take two. Oh, Bloodveld's again. In the Stronghold Slayer dungeon. And that is going to do it for this week. So to go over our stats, we're up one level in attack up to level 67. We're up uh, two defense levels up to level 62. We're up um, seven uh, range levels up to 55. Uh, two prayer up to 45, uh, one rune crafting up to level 20, um, two hit points levels up to 69, one agility level up to 61, uh, three craft levels up to 53, um, what else we got, two levels in slayer up to level 57, one in mining up to level 60, and I think that is everything oh no and one level in uh wood cutting up to level 70 we also did the um lost tribe quest and also oh lost tribe earnest the chicken and animal magnetism we're now up to 63 quest points we're now at a total level of 1316 um but yeah that that that's all the progress for this week guys i hope you guys did enjoy the episode if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're new any suggestions put them down in the comments I am planning on streaming this week coming, so go over to my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash smithytv. It'll be in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video. Um, so I hope to see you guys all over there when I work out what I'm going to stream. Um, for updates on that, check my Twitter. Again, link in the description. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!